Good evening. I am here with a very serious proposal, modest proposal, to solve a problem that is facing us around the world, and that is rising ocean levels. As we know, global warming is causing the oceans to rise currently at a rate of three millimeters per year. And for everyone locally, that's the equivalent to taking our local Lake Washington and adding it to the world's oceans every day. And this causes problems around the world, especially for those in low-lying coastal regions. This causes problems not only in flooding of these areas, but in significant dislocations to people's daily routines. <laughs> Perhaps the, the most frightening of the possible implications of rising ocean levels is the possibility of another Kevin Costner movie. <laughs> <clears throat> There have been solutions suggested, such as coming to an international agreement among all nations to agree on reducing emissions, to reduce the warming that produces rising ocean levels. And that may happen, and in the immortal words of Wayne Campbell, maybe monkeys will fly out of my butt. There have also been the suggestion of using geoengineering to reduce the Earth's albedo, which can also cause a cooling effect to stop the warming. People have said that this is just a Band-Aid. However, humanity has a very long history of applying Band-Aids to major problems, so, you know, why stop now? <clears throat> So my suggestion is to use superabsorbent polymers, materials that can absorb up to 50 times of their own volume in water. You put these in the ocean, then you take the water out and you put it somewhere else. <laughs> these products are already in use in sandbags, sweatbands, and diapers. And so I think that the name for this is very clear. We'll just call them the global sweatband. And marketing of this, I think, will be very clear and easy. <laughs> So the current annual production of these would be equivalent to uh, absorbing about one and a half billion cubic meters per year, which I represent by the small pile of diapers on the left. Global production would need to be increased by about a factor of 730, um, represented by the pile on the right. Now, the uh, motivations, the economic incentives we'll use, will cause that production to ramp up over a couple, two to, to three decades or more. In the interim, we can reuse the existing store of these superabsorbent polymers. And the way we do that is we can excavate used diapers from landfills. <laughs> this, not this has three benefits. Not only are you reducing the volume in the landfills, you're also reducing the uh, water that's in the ocean by, by using these diapers. And finally, you're using the natural contents of those diapers to fertilize the ocean, causing algal blooms, and now you're also sequestering carbon. <laughs> Ongoing usage of these can spur new businesses, such as those that would take drones to carry the diapers from your house directly to the ocean. So not only will your house smell better, you'll be fighting global ocean rise. The final question or objection that comes up to this is where do we locate all of these absorbent polymers and the, the global sweatbands? It'll have to be some place that is, is very undesirable, uh, that no one really at all cares about, or at least not that anyone we know really cares about. Therefore, the logical place is, of course, California. <laughs> Thank you.